every time I watch the clips from Leon the Professional, I'm reminded of what a, a sense of discovery we all had seeing you in that. How did you, at the age of 12 or whatever, get cast by Luc Besson, who, by the way, was our guest here in Real Pieces about three years ago, together with Michelle Yeoh for The Lady. Um, how did you get cast as Matilda? Um, well, thank you for saying that. Um, and I, I really wanted to act as a kid. It's, it's funny um, how you know things at 11 um, that, or 10, yeah, that, that you know for the rest of your life, I think. Now that I'm obviously much older and have talked to so many people who have passions like like I do, they all say they knew it around that same age. And um, I begged my parents um, to let me um, audition for things and um, they kindly agreed. And, and then that was the first thing I got. <laughs> and, um, I could have, <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like, like I auditioned for like a lot of like serial commercials and things like that, but it was never like an adorable, like, you know, wholesome kid or anything. Obviously I did kind of dark things. Well, I mean, also, <laughs> I mean, it's, it is an American action film. Gary Oldman is in it too, but it has a very European flair and nuances. And there's this you know, beautiful ambiguity in terms of the relationships, um, the way that your character is drawn to Jean Renaud, such a, a wonderful actor. And he's playing a role um, not unlike uh, the one that he played in Luc Besson's La Femme Nikita, mm -hmm. you know, a previous film, a cleaner, you know, somebody who fixes things up by being a hitman. Um, and for you, <laughs> if that was your first role, your introduction to the world of filmmaking, um, how was it shaping you, the world of Luc Besson, which is a French-American thing, as opposed to had you started out with a typical American mainstream movie? Yeah, I don't know that I definitely know how to compare it, because of course I only had one, one of those experiences, but it was certainly, um, uh, very influential to get to see how Luke placed the camera because it was always in an unexpected place. And I think that's something that's so um, impressive with his films is how beautifully shot they are. You know, we're so used to seeing sort of cookie cutter action movies and, and his films are always unexpected um, in, the way they, in the way they look. And then I think also um, getting to watch Jean act because I had I didn't know anything, and of course, and um, and it's funny, like he's hearing the clips, and just like my elocution is so precise, <laughs> it's like, very strange. <laughs> I like really enunciate my T's, um, and um, and yeah, and watching Jean, who was so like minimalist with with what he did, and um, and uh, so naturalistic, I think really affected what I wanted to do um, after watching him. Sure. 